Okay, once you've made a bulb, you are going to want to uh, get it to your students so that they can watch the video and answer the questions. And the easiest way to do that is to use your Google Classroom account. Uh, and PlayPosit has a way to connect that. However, you've got to go back to the old view of PlayPosit. So I click on my name and come down here and click Old PlayPosit. And that opens up um, the old view of it that's still being used uh, for basically just for this purpose. So I click on the button that says Fill Out Profile. And I come all the way down here and there's a section called Google Classroom Sync. And if I click on that, it's going to ask uh, you to allow it to connect to Google Classroom. And then this is going to spin for a while. And depending on how many classes you have in Google Classroom, it could take a couple minutes. And once it does, uh, you'll see all of your classes here and you will find and check the classes that you want to import into Google Classroom, which uh, I've already done, so I'm going to have to just cancel this. So once you've done that, you just click on this little button that says App, and it takes you back to the uh, normal version of Google, I'm sorry, PlayPosit. And so let's say I want to share this app, so I come over here, and I click on this little Share button, and here's two options. You can either share the link, which is what we're going to do, but before we copy the link, we want to decide what kind of um, sharing we're going to use this for. If you are using this for professional learning with other teachers or colleagues and you want it to be graded, you will turn this one on. If you just want to share it with people and you do not want it to be graded so that they can just have a copy of it, then you can turn that link on. Uh, if you are sharing it with students and you do not want them to uh, log in to PlayPosit, you can turn this on. However, in this particular uh, example, we are going to want them to log in and they will log in through Google Classroom. So uh, I am not going to check any of those uh, settings for the moment. And I'm just going to click there to copy the URL. It says Texas Copy. So I'm going to jump over here to my fake uh, computer science class and I will just simply post this as an announcement. Again, in Google Classroom, because the collection of data is happening in PlayPosit, you do not want to use a create assignment option, mostly because it generates an overdue or late notice for the student, which is confusing to the student, and even more con uh, confusing for the parents who are following their student in Google Classroom. So I recommend you create an announcement. You just type in whatever it is you want to say about this, Okay, so I uh, always think it's a great idea to add topics to whatever you post. So I don't have a music theory topic, so I'll go ahead and create that. And I want to uh, link. Uh, this is the link button to an external website here. So I click on that, and then I will paste the, um, the link to the PlayPosit bulb, and I'll add the link. And of course, if I wanted to schedule it later, I could do that or save it as a draft. But for right now, I'm just going to post it right away. And there it is. So now I'm looking at my son's Google Classroom in the fake computer graphics class um, where I posted that link to the PlayPosit video. So he just clicks on here. It opens up PlayPosit. It might ask him. No, nope, it doesn't. If it asks to log in, they would use Google. Sometimes they might ask which class do you want to be in. You would click, you would instruct the students to click on the class that you have created for them. But all he does is click play. And after it gets to a certain point, oh, I've disabled fast forwarding, so we have to sit here and wait, which we won't make you do. I'll just lesson one in music theories. So it's paused, and uh, basically the kids go through and they watch the video and answer the questions. In another video, you'll see where you can get the results of the questions. So I hope you enjoy this.